All right, with the colder temperatures now in play, it's soup season for sure. I saw Carrie yesterday eating her soup. Yes, I, I, you know, I, there's nothing better than homemade soup, though. And joining us today, we're going to share a recipe for Southwest black bean soup. And Grace Fallow is the young one behind it. She's got a food-centric website, tastefullygrace.com. So much, I mean, I love soup in any form, mm -hmm. but there's nothing like homemade soup. Oh, yeah. And it's actually not that hard to make. Right. I mean, it's a one-pot meal, and okay. you can have it, you know, for the entire week. So it's really great. That's what I love, that you can have it for the entire week. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay, okay, so what do you and got cooking in here? So this black bean soup is a little different. It's not that typical kind of watery broth soup with just black beans. Okay. This has tons of flavor. It's kind of smoky and creamy. Mm. So this base here, all I started out with is carrots, onion, and garlic and olive oil, and I'm just sauteing it. And, and that's a red onion you're using. Yes, and you can also use a yellow onion if you have that in Whatever the house. Yellow. It doesn't really Whatever matter. Whatever okay. have is okay. All right. Yep. And you just want to saute that until it's soft. Um, and again, it's four carrots, two onion, and four cloves of garlic. So okay. really simple. Yep, and we, of course, will keep that recipe on betterct.com, and you can watch the Perfect. video later. Now, black beans. Yeah. Can you can you do canned, or do you have to do the ones where you soak overnight? Or <laughs> so these are canned, and okay, I feel good. like you know, for a soup like this, you don't really need to. You know, okay. they're not really the all stars. It's the other ingredients that make it great. So okay. you can just so that's use quick, cans. Then. You can have it's like a larder meal. You could have black beans you know, exactly. in your pantry. Okay. If you want to just dump those right in for How me. How many cans is this? So this is five cans drained, of black right? beans drained. You don't want that like yucky kind of water on the bottom. Exactly. Yeah. It's gross. Okay. And then I have some petite diced tomatoes, and it's actually a can. That looks two delicious. cans. Two and cans you know, of petite diced tomatoes. Yes. It's a good way to. And it kind of adds what you have in your pantry too. Yeah. Just a few fresh ingredients. Exactly right. Mm -hmm. And it adds a, kind of that acidity to it, and um, some veggies too. It's super healthy. Where, where'd you get this? Where'd you come up with this? Did you make it on your own, Grace? I did. I actually made it up on my own. I said to myself, you know, I hate that kind of the fast casual black bean soup that's that like watery texture. I was like, how can I make it flavorful mm -hmm. and really healthy and vegetarian? Okay. okay. All right, so, so now we're going to use broth. Yes, yeah, so you can use um, vegetable broth or you can use chicken broth, whatever you want to use. Yeah, yeah. so because so far it's a vegetarian meal. If you exactly. want to keep it vegetarian, just use vegetable broth. And Do you then want the whole box? About, uh, about a cup or two, so just about half of that box. You can okay. go ahead You'll and tell me when. jump it in. There you go. Is that good? Perfect. Okay. Awesome. And you have the reduced sodium one. Do you recommend that you consult it yourself? Yeah, I I like to kind of control the amount of sodium that I put in things. So I think it's you know better if you do low sodium and then add salt if you think that it's not salty yeah, enough. Yeah, because I never do salt. Ever. Yeah, it's Anything. just it just wasn't on the table when yeah, we were growing up. In restaurants too, it's always too salty to me. So no I like salt, to control. No salt, no pepper. Never on the table. I didn't even know it existed. <laughs> I was like, what is that? And we had the, uh, the you know, the, the Tupperware cylinders. Remember the gray and the white for pepper? And, and they look like, they look like nuclear reactors. Yeah. That's it. I think. Yeah. All right. Good. So. Okay. All right. So. And this is jalapenos. Those Ooh. probably weren't on your so, table either. Yeah. Were they on your table? They were not on my table either. Now, I noticed the seeds are missing, so, so they're not going to be... So I take the seeds out just because it's too, it's too hot. Yeah. And you can do about two to four jalapenos. You don't need to add, you know, a ton. You can add none if you hate spicy things, but so it's it, just If you take flavor. the seeds out, will it be not too spicy then? It's way less spicy. Okay. So it's a great way of controlling the heat. And then this is also a little bit spicy, too. It's chipotle uh, chili powder. Mm. But if you smell it, it's super smoky. Oh, yeah. Isn't so that can smoky? you buy this at the store, just chipotle chili yes. powder? Yep, exactly. You, and it's about one that? tablespoon, so go ahead and add that in. The whole thing? Yep, just go ahead and okay. dump it. Perfect. It has a great smell, and it adds a real smoky kind of southwest flavor. Boy, this flavor. is a huge quantity of soup. I mean, Isn't this, it? Is, this literally it's would a last. a lot. It's what's really time. nice is you're going to come home every day and be like, we've got soup. And, you know, you can just make a salad or whatever and, exactly. and that would be dinner. Yeah. Yep. Or great Perfect. for packing your lunches. This is my favorite thing. Scott, I asked for this a couple of Christmases ago, and he did get it for me. It's an immersion blender. Exactly. So that I could make soup. 
soup and you just turn it on and kind of mix it through. You can use a regular blender too if you don't have one of these. Or just put it in like the top, put it in the, in the blender itself? Yep, exactly. And mix it um, and blend it until it's the consistency that you want. You don't really have to blend it all the way if you don't want to. Okay. So once, say, you know, this is all, all blended done. together. And then um, I like it kind of this consistency, and I just top it with a few more black beans. Yeah, and, and then, then you made your own homemade tortillas. Yes. So to make these, you just take soft corn tortillas, okay. slice them into little strips, okay. and then pop them in the oven at 425 okay. for about 10 minutes and kind of toss it so once like in a this, while. So like this, Exactly. Look at those cutting skills. Wow, you're quality. I just saw a little post that you can make those into like mummy quesadillas too. So there you oh, go. For Halloween, you can actually do a quesadilla with this too. Yeah, that's great. Okay. And then you just kind of top it with those. And a little cheese. And then some cheese. That's uh, jack cheddar. Okay. And then these are and scallions. Then scallions. Okay. Beautiful. To make it pretty. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Okay. And then we're ready to eat. And then you're ready to try. And what a hearty meal this there is. There you go. But really, you're right. You just make it. You know, spend a half an hour making this, and then you've got and that's meals it. to come. Yeah. And I bring it to lunch sometimes too. I mean, you can mm. even eat it. It's really good. Delicious. Cold. Really, and really not. good. You can add some sour cream or mm -hmm. Greek yogurt. Mm. It's got it's a delicious. wonderful kick too. Yeah. 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 It's got a nice mm. back. Very it's not hearty. boring. You Smoky. feel like you're eating something really good. Yep. Yeah. Thank you, Grace. That's right. awesome. Right, for, for this, this recipe. Go ahead, Kat. Go ahead. I'm gonna eat. <laughs> for this <laughs> recipe and other great recipes, head to Grace's website. It is tastefullygrace.com. All right. When we come back, Miss Connecticut joins us. We'll see you in two.